Hello everyone, my name is Salar and this is Sal DEM channel. This lecture is about three-point bending of metallic materials, which is a common test to evaluate the bending properties of this material. So let's start the simulation process with choosing our model database, which is the standard explicit model. So it's worth mentioning that for practice, I decided to model the geometry of our test in SolidWorks. So it would be a good practice to learn how to import your models to the workspace. Okay, let's move to File menu, Import and Part. So we could uh, import our uh, parts one by one to the workspace. You could uh, use a variety of uh, file types, but I usually use step files, so let's import it. I always wanted to change the names and combine files into single part and also merge it. Okay, let's do it one by one. Okay, combine, merge. Again, for the upper RAM, we should do the same process. Okay. Uh, so, the next step would be creating the property of materials. I'm going to use steel materials. Always name your materials with a proper connection with the reality so it would be helpful for your uh, coming back to your simulation and having an idea about what you have done before so okay let's add elastic material properties as I'm going to use millimeter for my uh, dimensions so I'm going to use megapascal for the young modulus and okay Again, we need to define some sections and it would be a homogeneous section for my steel material and after that I'm going to assign these sections to these materials. So, uh, let's see what comes next. I just apply the uh, material section to my uh, parts. Okay, so let's move to the assembly part. We need to call our materials to the working space. It would also be a good practice when you usually do your modeling in CAD software, you need to translate your um, part and your geometry to the uh, center of your coordinate system. So I'm going to use translate, select all these parts choose the point I want to translate and also I want to translate to zero 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 in my coordinate system so just need to click OK and okay. now we are translated our uh, geometry to the coordinate of to the zero points of our coordinate system so also we need to define three reference points for our upper and bottom rams so okay everything is set in our assembly module let's move to the step module we are going to use static general solver and we need to increase or uh, decrease our increments to 0 0.1 and increase the maximum number of our in increase increments so i have talked about these values on my previous tutorial so I highly recommend you to see the links below so you may have a better understanding about what I'm going to do in this simulation. Okay. We are done in step module. Let's move to the interaction. We need to define some uh, general contacts for our initial step. Also, we need to uh, create some contacts with different kind of uh, properties firstly we need a tangential behavior with penalty type and a friction coefficient of 0 0.15 uh, as previously I mentioned I have talked about these um, values so please see the previous uh, simulations okay 
also we need to assign some normal behaviors okay we are done in terms of our contact so let's define three rigid bodies for our rams because we don't want them to have any kind of plastic or any kind of deformations so uh, first of all we have done this let's do the same for two other rigid bodies okay Okay, again for the third body, let's choose the reference point. Okay, everything is done here, so let's move to the load module. We need to encaster these two actually uh, rigid bodies because they are going to be stable and they don't have any kind of deformation and move towards any kind any of axis so next would be a displacement rotational boundary condition for this ram okay we are going to set everything zero except the u2 which is the y axis so again we need to edit this boundary condition I want a minus five millimeter deformation so okay let's move to the mesh we need to choose the type of our mesh I'm going to use tetra mesh for this uh, geometries okay let's define the seed numbers and assign the mesh okay let's move the same one by one for the other parts okay five is very big three would be good okay let's mesh the structure let's move to the upper ram again change the mesh type to tet choose the proper global size again mesh the structure okay let's move to the job we need to save it I'm gonna save it to my three point bending folder three point bending so you can ask for the simulation files through my LinkedIn and also it would be very beneficial to support me by following my channel liking this video and also turn your notification on for further simulation tutorials so okay let's move to the job create my job job three point bending okay and let's wait for the result after i submit it okay the simulation is finished and now we are in our visualization module so let's see the results let's see it as an animation i just want to decrease the speed okay as you can see here is the static general simulation of a three-point bending of a steel plate I hope you enjoy it. As again, do not forget to subscribe, send this video to whoever you think needs this video, and have a nice day. See you soon. Bye.